I founded Magpie Goose with my partner Laura Egan in 2016. Magpie Goose is a social enterprise and our mission is twofold. It's to provide Aboriginal people in remote Australia new opportunities to make money and to share culture and then on the other side to provide people around Australia and the world a chance to connect with and celebrate Aboriginal people and culture and stories. A lot of art centres were designing and printing textiles in community but you could only really get access to them if you visited the community as a doctor or a teacher or if you worked at the art centre. I think all of these designs that we are working with tell so many different stories of Australia and that's what's so special about them all. We've been running for between two and three years and we've paid $250,000 of licensing fees to artists. I think we've worked with 75 artists that have got income that they wouldn't have otherwise got. We started off working with Northern Territory artists but we've been working with artists all around Australia now. We've worked with artists up in Colombaroo, which is the most northwestern part of Australia in the Kimberley. We've got collaborations coming up with Elowinku, that's in the Northern Territory. Our new collection is from Central Australia, Ikunji, and then we've got collaborations coming up with more communities further down the coast of Western Australia. I think in Australia we're so lucky because we've got the oldest living continuing culture and history, and that I think should be number one export of Australia. It's really become a unique Australian brand working with artists and being able to provide new opportunities for them to make money and to share culture. That's what I love, being that middle point of connection between people who maybe don't know this story and people who are telling this story.